This is the world's smallest double action Lego steam engine. But wait, how did we even get here? Let's go back all the way to my very first steam engine. I got a lot of requests to make a double action steam engine. And that's exactly what I did. If you don't know what a double action steam engine is, I'm going to explain. Double action means the piston is being pushed both backwards and then it's also being pushed forwards. So whenever the valve opens up a hole at the front of the piston, air will travel in and push the piston back. Then once the piston makes it all the way back to the back of the cylinder, the valve will close the hole and then it'll open up one at the back of the cylinder. That'll allow air to travel in behind the piston and push it forward meaning you're getting power for both strokes. The first one I designed had a 2x2 piston and a 2x2 valve. Wow. That is really low pressure right now. That's almost nothing. This engine was really surprising how well it runs, especially since it can run on really low pressures. All right, just for the fun of it, I added a little uh, wall here to prevent that valve from coming off. So let's see how fast I can get this thing before it explodes inevitably. When I designed the valve, I knew that air pressure would be what would destroy the valve because of the design. It would just pop off. I wasn't expecting it to be able to go that long, which is awesome. And the fact that only only that little, little bit came flying off, it didn't actually blow up anything. And then I got curious. I wanted to see if a 4x4 double action piston would work with my setup. So I built this one. Ignore the uh, rainbow colors, this was literally just a test. I wasn't planning on doing anything with this in this video, but to see if it would work would definitely help out in future projects. Immediately out of the gate, well. This is also really low pressure. That one also runs really well, even on low pressure, which was really surprising to me. And then I got a little bit ambitious. I wanted to try to make a functioning double action steam engine with a one by one piston and a one by one valve. This would technically make it the world's smallest. So I got to tinkering and building. I had a lot of problems putting it together and there was a lot of fine tuning I had to do to the valves and different timings. But eventually I got something that actually ran. Now it does take a lot of pressure to run and that's just because of how small it is, but regardless it does run double action. And then I took it a step further and I made a realistic one. This one's basically exactly the same design, except I just added a few little aesthetic details and even a little non-functioning governor just to throw a little something extra on. And it runs just as good. So guys, like always, if you're interested in building this, I have links in the description where you can get instructions. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And that is the world's smallest double action Lego Steve. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.